Hello guys, so as the title of the video, I'm gonna start to show you how is the Brazilian pancake style. I will need uh, only few ingredients and it's very easy to make. So we start, ah, don't forget to take a blender. <laughs> I have only this mixer, but I'll do with this. So we start with one cup of uh, milk and two whole eggs. Okay, so it's only, you know, very easy. And I'm gonna put the second one. Let's um, follow with the four spoons of oil, not olive oil, with normal oil. And this flour, we're gonna put, this one is the whole with flour I'm not using the white one I'm just being careful for to don't be too much mess so now I put a little bit of salt only because our pancake is not gonna be sweet of course and that's it and now it's ready to mix I forgot to put half cup of milk, it's too much thick. <laughs> the, this is the consistency of the pancake. And now we're gonna make the sauce. The sauce of our pancake is gonna be basically ground beef. So we cut all the onions. I have only this half onion in the house, so I'm gonna use only this. I don't have garlic, I forgot to buy. So usually our base here in Brazil, what we use for to cook some meat or beef or whatsoever, it's garlic and onion. So I start with the oil, then I put the garlic first. Um, after that, I try to fry a little bit the garlic and then I put the meat. And I start with the black pepper, paprika and salt this is the three condiments i'm using and let's see ah i also like to put since it's with tomato sauce i like to put a little bit of soy sauce and this is the rest of my olives that i like to put when i make uh, any kind of sauce with tomato any kind of meat with tomato so i love to put olives and that's it so we let it fry a little bit the soy sauce is good that makes the meat to be more tasty and this one it's like green onion that i cut everything and i leave it frozen so every time i want to use i just you know put on my recipes whatsoever and i let it fry very well so the beef will be like that i let it dry the water as well because it was uh, also frozen the meat and i will throw now the tomato sauce this tomato sauce is the base is basil and i love also this taste so it will be very tasty and after this i try to put a little bit of water because i need to make it very you know not not so dry sauce i need to make it a little bit with more sauce because later on we're gonna use this sauce to put on top of our pancake after ready so it's more or less like this and now let's do the pancake i put a little bit of oil and i let it you know uh get hot and i throw my pancake 
what I prepare there a little bit. The, the secret is to don't make it too much thick, better, very thin, but this first one was it was a mistake, so I let it be a bit thick and mm, anyway, it works. <laughs> and the next, of course, I try to put a little bit less of, uh, you know, my preparation. So that's it. This uh, Tramontina, it's what I'm using. It's, it's a very good, you know, uh, for to fry everything, even without oil, it don't stick. So the name is Tramontina. It's, it's very famous here in Brazil, the brand. Look, it's very easy. When it gets hot, it don't stick in the, you know, under. So this one I finish. It's very fast. I can make all of this. So now is the time of uh, we build everything in this, uh, you know, my glass container uh, because later I have to put a little bit in the oven so it the, the cheese can be melt. So that's why I already put in this container that is glass. And I just do like this with the pancake and I try to roll and make like a bed <laughs> so I can do everything together like this it, it's of course it's uh, the portion is per person you can take one two three but at the same time when we build this there we make it all together so it's it becomes like one plate one recipe whatsoever and it's like this that we keep doing until the end So I told you that I need uh, a lot of sauce. So in the top, I just put this one to make it more, you know, uh, more um, wet, I mean. And after that, I just take some Parmesan cheese and I try to, to put on top so it can melt as well together. And of course, I cannot forget the mozzarella cheese, mozzarella. It's not mozzarella di buffalo, it's a regular mozzarella cheese. So we're gonna put some, you know, only some slices because later I put on in the oven. And that's it. After it be very hot, you can serve for your family. And this portion is good for four person. Guys, so this is the pancake in Brazil. Our style, how we used to do. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe here down below and keep watching our channel. Soon we're gonna make more vlogs for you and I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to follow this recipe. Uh, I hope you like our dish here in Brazil. Bolognese pancake.